And we want to begin with Donald Trump's hush money trial. And there are two big headlines that are breaking this evening. First, a full jury has now been chosen, including six alternates. And opening statements are now set to begin on Monday. And then there was the man who set himself on fire outside of the courthouse, raising new questions about security in that area. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett live in Lower Manhattan. He is covering it all for us. N.J.? As Sandra witnesses tell me, there was absolutely no warning that the man gave no indication of what he was about to do, that he said nothing. And people outside the courthouse were powerless to stop him. Witnesses said it happened in an instant. Officers converged on the park from every direction. One would try to smother the flames. Another used a fire extinguisher. The man was rushed to a nearby hospital with critical burns throughout his body. Police! Hey, police! There's a guy lighting himself on fire! This was the man seconds before the fire. He is covered in an accelerant and will use a lighter to set himself ablaze. Did he give any indication before he did that? No. Being of any political persuasion at all? No, I, I honestly am shocked that he wasn't yelling about something. He didn't uh, have a poster, nothing He, like he had a, a bunch of materials around him. Maybe there's a manifesto, maybe there's something indicating it. But I was right there when he was dousing himself and he wasn't oh, screaming man. about anything at all. He reached down and got like a, a big can, yelled at me to run away, get away, and, and let himself on fire. Police identified the man as Max Azzarello of St. Augustine, Florida. Witnesses say the man had been seen in the park across from the courthouse for several days this week. Online rantings bearing his name promoted a conspiracy theory about a global totalitarian plot. Anywhere between the 13th and today he arrived. We spoke to family members today. They were unaware that he was even in New York. It happened shortly after the jury selection process had been completed. Prosecutors and defense attorneys drilled down on a large pool of potential jurors. As was the case all week, most were eliminated. Many because they claimed they could not be impartial. The case centers on a $130,000 payment made to porn actress Stormy Daniels to buy her silence over her alleged affair with Trump in 2006. Trump is accused of covering up the payment so it would not damage his 2016 campaign. Five alternate jurors were sworn in today. They will now join the others selected yesterday. Twelve jurors and six alternates who will sit through the trial expected to last well into next month. What's happening here with the judicial system is an outrage. And all over the world they're watching it and all over the world they're saying it. This is a giant witch hunt. The former president speaking outside the courtroom just moments ago. He has since left Lower Manhattan. Court is adjourned for the day. Opening arguments set now for Monday morning. Live tonight, Lower Manhattan, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News.